I thought it was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Going up and down the steps was very cool, because that I yeah. think would be really hard, especially going back down the steps. That was cool. See it this close and how fluid it is, is insane. It's pretty insane. I felt almost an emotional connection with it, almost immediately. I could see how, you know, humans could definitely get attached on that level. I thought it was a wonderful piece of technology. The advancements have only seem to have gone further from the original. Just the capability of him is outstanding. For a minute there, like, you just wonder if there's actually somebody inside that thing, you know? I mean, to see a robot get the movement in his arms and shoulders and all the joints it looks like a human to have, so it was pretty impressive. Yeah, I did not know robots were <laughs> good to do that stuff. That Osmo was awesome. <laughs> Osmo was awesome, yeah, it was incredible. He's awesome. He is. <laughs> now I think everybody should have one. <laughs>
as I explained, this is a new version of uh, the robot. Uh, it's a new version that we released last month uh, with improvement uh, requested, asked by some of, of our customers. For instance, we have longer arms, we have curved arms because customer wanted to have a larger working space. So, so this is how we designed this robot. So in this version, we improved the quality of the robot in terms of robustness. Uh, we improved um, the motion engine, having a much smoother walking, uh, reliable and, and able to work on small obstacles without do falling down. Else. May I? No, keep quiet. Uh, after that, in terms of software, with some uh, face recognition engine, so the uh, robot is able to recognize your face once it has learned it. Uh, picture recognition, image recognition, or this kind of things that help turning him more interactive. You can see that. So, very clear expression. But I want him to stop making noise during my speech. Can someone please switch on the light? So if we really want the robot to be able to help people, humanity, so we need to have uh, the robot accepted, casting positive effects. And this is a question of, of shape of the robot, this is a question of design, but it's more a question of uh, behavior. Hey, now! Tell us a story. Okay. A long time ago, in a galaxy far far away. The galaxy is living in dark times again. Here, here we demonstrate the full manager. See the robot and I will push him and crush him. So it's not very easy to see that, but when he, f when he feel that he was beginning to fall down, so he prepared himself. Hey, are you insane? You could have hurt me. Tell me a little bit of your background. <laughs> People are always asking that about finance. I, I didn't came from finance. I came from IT. I came from a, uh, a hobbyist who was developing electronics or electronical system when I was young. So I already had developed some robots. I was fan of fiction, scientific fiction. And I told myself, OK, one day is going to be the right time for launching a company and for having the same kind of hundreds of thousands of people interested in joining this community and helping developing this new world exploring this new incoming world of robotics. I like this one because it's very smooth motion, it's not very mechanical dance. <coughs> it's music by Vangelis about the movie 1492. And finally this robot is nothing but a platform to explore this new world of robotics.